Yo, I'm back after a bit of an absence. It's been three or four days since my last video. I've been super occupied, so I haven't really had time to record and release videos. But today, I'm back with a frightening looking differential equation. I mean, just look at it. Look at the sheer number of exponential functions involved. So how would you even begin a solution development? Well, let's focus our attention first on this term here. e to the x, e to the e to the x minus e to the negative e to the x. Let me just box that properly. Yeah, much better. So this reminds me of the hyperbolic sine function. We know that the hyperbolic sine or the cinch of z is defined as e to the z minus e to the negative z divided by 2. So this implies that 2 times the cinch of replacing z by e to the x gives us e to the e to the x minus e to the negative e to the x. And that takes care of the first term here on the right hand side. So we have dy by dx equal to y squared times e to the negative 2 times the cinch of e to the x. And from the second term here, we can factor out an e to the x term, and that leaves us with e to the x. No, wait, it leaves us with e to the e to the x plus e to the negative e to the x. Just as before, we should shift our focus onto this scary looking term here. And again, this reminds me of a hyperbolic trig function. We have the hyperbolic cosine, that is the cosh of z equal to e to the z plus e to the negative z divided by 2. So this implies that twice the cosh of e to the x equals e to the e to the x minus, oh sorry about that, plus e to the negative e to the x. So that reduces my differential equation to something that looks sort of less scary. So I have dy by dx equal to y squared times e to the negative 2 times the cinch of e to the x plus y times e to the x times 2 times the cosh of e to the x. And I admit this does not look all that pretty, but we can work with it. If I expand using 1 by y squared, then I can write this as 1 by y squared times dy by dx equal to e to the negative 2 times the cinch of e to the x plus 2 divided by y times e to the x times the cosh of e to the x. Now let's make a substitution that will make our lives much easier. We're going to let negative 1 by y equal to u, which implies on differentiation with respect to x that positive 1 by y squared dy by dx equals du by dx. So this transforms my differential equation into du by dx equal to e to the negative 2 times the cinch of e to the x plus or rather minus 2 times u times e to the x times the cosh of e to the x. And on some rearrangement we get a very familiar structure. We have du by dx plus 2 times e to the x times the cosh of e to the x times u equal to e to the negative 2 times the cinch of e to the x, which we recognize as a Bernoulli boy. So this is a Bernoulli differential equation, and we can solve it by figuring out a, an appropriate integrating factor. And the integrating factor is just e to the integral of this function here attached to the u variable. So we have e to the integral of 2 times e to the x times the cosh of e to the x dx. And this is a pretty simple integral. You could just u sub e to the x equal to u, then just use the antiderivative. So you have e to the 2 times the cinch of e to the x. Okay, cool. So Expanding using the integrating factor, we have e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x times du by dx plus e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x 
uh, times 2 times the first e to the x, then the hyperbolic cosine of e to the x. And this equals, on the right-hand side, these two things cancel out to give you a 1. And the structure on the left-hand side is just the derivative with respect to x of u times e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x. And on the right-hand side, we have a 1 term. So all that's left is to integrate with respect to x. So in that case, we have u times e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x equal to x plus some constant of integration that I'm going to call c. And now solving for u, we have u equal to x plus c divided by e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x. And what exactly was the u variable? We subbed u equal to negative 1 by y. So this implies the y should be e to the 2 times cinch of e to the x with a negative sign divided by x plus some constant of integration c, which is a pretty cool looking solution indeed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.